Dan Benjamin, how are you? Dan, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. And how are you feeling there, Tom? All right, I'm doing really good, thank you. Uh, the parade is back, and yep. uh, boy, this, this parade route is crowded today, and uh, we're back. The big parade is back. It's been a two years since, uh, since the last one, and I think the people are ready for an, a great show. Yep, the people are ready. I'm ready. This is like Christmas morning to me, <laughs> and uh, let's get on with the parade. Sounds like a good idea. Let's talk a little bit about the Grand Marshal. Yes. And uh, I understand the Grand Marshal is Bill Chetwin. And I've got a little uh, scenario here that I'd like to read about him and okay. let everyone know how much he's done for Wakefield. And it says, the Wakefield Independence Day Parade Committee is pleased to announce that the Grand Marshal for the 2015 Independence Day Parade is Bill Chetwin. Mr. Chetwin exemplifies the theme of the parade, Foundation of Democracy, America's Volunteers. This theme celebrates the men and women who volunteer their time, skills, blood and sweat, and tears to establish an independent nation. It also honors those who volunteer their time and skill to make our community a better place to live. The parade committee solicited essays about nominees for Grand Marshal. These essays were read and voted by the Independence Day Committee Board of Directors. Bill Chetwin has freely given his time and skills in many ways to his community. He served on the Wakefield School Committee for 15 years, during which he also served on some statewide committees and was the recipient of the MASC Award for being a friend of public education. Bill has been president and is currently the director of the Scholarship Foundation of Wakefield and was awarded membership in the National Honor Rolls for Dollars for Scholars. He serves on the Board of Advisors for the Center of Performing Arts, was instrumental in establishing the Wakefield Academy program and serves on the board of the Wakefield Memorial High School Alumni Association. Well, there's an awful lot more I could read about Bill, I, know, but I it, know I've worked with Bill yeah. uh, on the uh, committee that brought the new Boys and Girls Club to Wakefield. Bill was very inter instrumental yep. in getting that uh, club started here in Wakefield. That's right, too. It's another another one of those volunteer jobs that Bill just steps up to the plate to and, and he gets it done. Very good. Um, along with his many civic contributions, Bill also served his country in Vietnam as a member of the United States Army. Very appropriate for the day. Yes. Well deserved. A well deserved uh, Grand Marshal. Yes. Great pick. Well, it looks like the rain's letting up a little bit here, Dan, and uh, hey, we'll have no rain on our parade today. Oh, no, not today. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm looking over here to, uh, to our man in the street there. He's certainly doing a great job getting uh, the shots of the little kids and so on. He's a, he's a great guy. He's a hard worker. He gets, gets all the good shots for us. With all the rain, no, it looks like everybody's staying right yep. here where they are. Yeah, uh, they're not going anywhere. They're going to see this parade. <laughs> it's nice to look over at Stylecraft and see that big American flag right in yes. the whole window of the front of yep. the store. Absolutely.
Yeah, Tom, if I could talk about some of the Drum Corps tours. Yes. Um, as an example, the uh, troopers from Casper, Wyoming, will put on, I think, 14,000 miles this summer wow. uh, in their tours. And just for an example, the last few days, they've done a show at Gillette Stadium on Thursday, another show in Bristol, Rhode Island last night. They did a parade this morning in Bristol. They came up here to our parade. Uh, they're doing the parade here for us. Tonight they do another show down in Lynn at the old uh, Manning Bowl. And then tomorrow night, at this time, they'll be out in Clifton, New Jersey. So they really move around. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot in a weekend. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Yeah, Tom, it looks like some movement down the street. It looks like the parade has started, and uh, we have the banner for the Wakefield Independence Day Committee coming down the street right now. Behind the banner, I think, is the banner of the Wakefield Board of Selectmen. Looks like we have uh, Don Long. Uh, Don Long and Paul Brodeur. Okay. Uh, representatives, yeah, Paul Brodeur and uh, Don Wong. And our selectmen there, there's Brian Falvey, Phyllis Howe. Yeah. And there's uh, and Grand there's Marshall. Grand Marshall, Bill Chetwin. Bill Chetwin, yep. Yeah. There he is. Bill is a great guy, like I said, that very instrumental in the New Boys and Girls Club here in Wakefield. Uh, I think he's on the board of directors for the Stoneham Club. And also, I believe he uh, has something to do with, uh, it's a, a mission in Malden that takes care of immigrants that are coming over to this country, finds them jobs, sponsors, and uh, he's just a great guy. 
Yes, Bill, uh, Bill Chetner epitomizes the spirit of volunteering. He has given so much of his time and talent to our community with no exceptions of reward or recognition. The Wakefield Independence Day Parade Committee is proud to have Bill Chetwin as our Grand Marshal. Bill getting a big hand here on the reviewing stand. Now we have our first color guard. Appropriately, a color guard from the Boys and Girl Scouts of America. Good to see that. Our first marching unit from Malden, the Kevin Barry Pipes and Drums. Of course, one of my favorites, been in this parade for a long time, Dick Beard and family. Dick has done a lot for this parade that people don't realize, but he's a great, great guy. And uh, I, a lot of you probably remember him and his father as drum major of the famous Redmond Band. And Dick is proud to be a Narragansett Indian. Cars. Oh, here we go, here we go, off and running now. Looks like it's a Mustang uh, thing going on here. A couple of them together. Looks like it, looks like it. I think we have some veterans vehicles here. I think the red uh, vehicle here. I think it's the uh, disabled American veterans. Yep. And we have a colonial outfit coming down. I believe this is the 5th Regiment. Uh, there's a lot of Wakefield people in it. I think they also call them Colonel Bailey's. Massachusetts 5th Regiment. Let's see if we can get them to fire their guns off. Here come some of the supporters of the uh, of the parade here, all these signs and so on. Like all the unit sponsors and regular yep. sponsors. They certainly did pretty well this year with that. And all the sign holders with their shirts there, I love the parade. Yeah, very nice. There's, there's one in there, it says WCAT. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Okay, now here comes the, uh, the, the parade that they had this morning for the young kids. These are all the children's events winners from the, the common this morning. Yeah. Uh, this is annually in the parade. Yes. This is the cart parade, the golf carriage parade, the bicycle parade. And if I could add one thing, uh, the West Side always had their master float builder, yep. Danny Curran, and uh, he passed away this past year, and I just want to say the parade really misses him. We love those floats, and uh, we miss you greatly.
And also another big supporter of the parade was Billy Houston down on North Avenue. And another great supporter of the parade and he passed away recently also. Peter Hubbard, wasn't he a fireman? Uh, just Danny Curran. Oh, Danny, well, yep. Peter Hubbard Memorial, I thought he was a fireman too. He was one of the uh, original members, I think, of the West Side Social oh, Club. Okay. Which I'm also a member of the West Side. Yeah, <laughs> and my well, father, too. So. Yeah. Go back a ways there. We go back way back. It's, it's nice to see the kids still making those, you know, yes. doll carriages, bikes. It's the Americana yeah. of the parade. The nice one up there I saw of the World War II Memorial. Yeah. Very nice. Now. One of the best, the cadets too. This is the senior corps of the cadets. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have our first demonstration here. Yeah. When I say uh, senior corps, uh, if you're over 22 years old, you go into the senior corps. Uh, below that is a junior corps. These are people that have probably already marched with the uh, cadets years ago and still want to do it. Looks like we're going to get a little performance from the cadets too, senior corps. Jump on that camera. As many years as I've been doing it, I kind of recognize some faces out there. Cadets, and they're from Allentown, Pennsylvania. That's two from Allentown, Pennsylvania, Senior Corps. DCI operates two different divisions of corps. Uh, the senior divisions are called DCA, Drum Corps Associates and they, they uh, march in their own like league and they compete against each other. Like I said, it's, usually these are over 22 years old.
Betts, two. Senior Corps from Allentown, Pennsylvania. The cadets have always been known as the best of the best, and now you know why. Some more of our sponsor signs. We couldn't do this parade without these sponsors. And Sardella Sign, who makes all the signs for the uh, sign holders. Bobby's been very good to us over the years. Approaching, coming in front of the reviewing stand of the Spartans of Nashua, New Hampshire. They're an open class drum corps. Usually meaning they're less than 150 members. The Spartans have been five times world champion in the open class. The uh, Spartans have been around for about 60 years out of Nashua, New Hampshire. Their founder just recently died, uh, Bertie Laflamme. He was the founder and the inspiration for the club. of patriotic songs from the Spartans of Nashua, New Hampshire, five times open class world champions. I'm 
sure Bernie's looking down at him and saying, job well done. Approaching the Wakefield softball champs, the Wakefield Angels, Major League Softball champs for 2015. Now we have our first first float, uh, the winner, the third place winner in the small division. I believe that's from the Wakefield Angels softball team, the float. Some more of our unit sponsors. Like I said, we, we couldn't get along without these unit sponsors. And there's many of them this year. In order to bring back the parade, we have to have the money to put it on, and these people came through for us. Minor League champs, the Tigers. Also champions, Wakefield Lacrosse. Wakefield Lacrosse. Good to see them in the parade. Hope they come back next year. And here we got the Wakefield Warriors football team. We have another drum corps coming down. I believe this is the Connecticut Hurricanes. Connecticut Hurricanes, senior drum corps. I think a lot of you might, might remember this core from uh, years ago when they had the giant cymbal player, Al DeSantos. They used to call him the biggest cymbals and drum core. And he used to play it to the tune of what they're playing now, the old Marlboro song.
right, we're going to have a replay of the giant symbols. It's going to be the Marlboro song. Sponsor signs. It takes a lot of sponsors to make a great parade. Some of our big sponsors, Wakefield Cooperative Bank. Another one of our major sponsors, Dutton Family Care. That's Dr. Kidd, and he's my doctor. Thank you, Dr. Kidd. Yep. Here's our kids' safety bus, just in case something happens, you know, a thunderstorm or anything happened along the parade route, we could pick up the kids. So that's there for a reason, a safety bus. Looks like the Odyssey Day School, children from the Odyssey Day School. Behind them is the Wakefield Veteran Services and our new VSO for Wakefield, Alicia Redden. Along with some veterans marching with her and I know a daughter and her son. Uh, she's doing a great job as far as the veteran service office in Wakefield. Now we have some military vehicles, antique military vehicles. Looks like a group from the Giants. We 
We have some more antique vehicles from the Cowlings Foundation in Stowe, Mass. I believe this is called an Army Mule with a, looks like a 50 caliber machine gun on it. Some more vehicles from Cowlings Foundation, Stowe, Mass. We were going to have a Sherman tank and a half track, but with the newly paved North Ave and Church Street, we just couldn't uh, put the cleated tracks on the roadway. Maybe they'll be back next year. Cowlings Foundation, a great place to visit if you get some time. Columbus Day weekend. Another one of our drum corps. A famous drum corps from going way back. Nine-time DCA world champion, the Hassan Caballeros. From Hassan, New Jersey. This is a legendary core. They were American Legion uh, champion, national titleist, ten times. They're another senior corps. They've been in existence since 1946. Hassan Caballeros. New Jersey. Awesome. The Hassan Caballeros. When you think of old time drum corps, you think of Hassan Caballeros and the cadets of Bergen County, the Garfield cadets. Famous, famous corps. I think we have some vehicles from the Burbank uh, ice rink up in Redding. Uh, a couple of Zambonis. After last winter, there might be still some snow on the streets. Burbank ice rink, Redding, Mass. 20th anniversary of the Burbank rink. Now approaching the dance studio of Wakefield. This is a dance studio. Performing on the back. Good to see the dance studio in the parade this year. have some dancers in the back of the float also. Good to see a lot of young kids participating in this parade.
Dance Studio of Wakefield Dances. Yeah, we have our vehicle now for the parade donation collectors, and we get a lot of them out there this year, and hopefully uh, people will donate to the parade. Put a $20 bill in that bucket. You get $20 worth of entertainment out here. Patriotic, good entertainment. You could spend that amount if you went down to the Rubin Cinema. Bring back the parade next year. Now approaching another drum corps from Camden County, Mount Holly, New Jersey, the Jersey Surf. Jersey Surf of Mount Holly, New Jersey. It's another open class uh, drum corps. surf and they're wowing us. Jersey surf. Mount Holly, New Jersey. another float approaching and it looks like it's from the uh, Wakefield Cooperative Bank the Wakefield Cooperative Bank which is celebrating an anniversary I believe this year Wakefield Co-op very generous sponsor of the parade also Looks like they're rocking us. The co op bank rockers. Another crowd favorite in the parade has been here many, many, many years the New Liberty Jazz Band. Dixieland Jazz Group. Been here many times. Some more of our classic and antique cars. like an El Dorado. And it looks like, uh, I think we got Wally Mosher in there. Wally Mosher and his El Dorado.
Yep, that's Wally Moshe. Some more of our antique vehicles, pickup truck. We have another drum corps coming. This is a world-class drum corps, which is 150 members, uh, Drum Corps International, the Troopers of Casper, Wyoming. The Troopers. All the way from Casper, Wyoming. I think this is a this is a group where you have to watch their drum major. The troopers. They're wearing like cavalry outfit uniforms, and I believe it's from the 11th Cavalry, which was out, out of Ohio in the 1800s. They've also appeared in the Rose Parade at Pasadena. Drum Corps has been in existence for about 50 years. The troopers of Casper, Wyoming have come a long, long way. They're now approaching uh, alley number 54. This is the Clowns of America. And these are from the North Shore of uh, Massachusetts. Clowns of America, alley number 54. Always popular with the kids in the parade. more of our antique classic vehicles. This is an ambassador. I believe that's from Chapman Road in Wakefield. Some more vehicles. Uh, I believe these are veterans groups. Jeep type vehicles.
traffic. You're seeing the Jeep from Adi Cole, uh, commander of the DAV, and also the Vietnam Vets of America Post 837. Vietnam Vets of America is the commanding officer. It's good to see the veterans in the parade. We can never do enough for our veterans. If it wasn't for our veterans, we wouldn't be here today celebrating this parade. Now I hear some music. I believe this is the Tony Barry Band of Saugus. And Tony Barry is here today at 94 years old, sitting right out in front of the reviewing stand. Tony Barry Band of Saugus. Been in the parade many years. Tony Barry Band, Saugus, Massachusetts. Next in the parade is Miss Massachusetts. Miss Massachusetts. I believe she's from Reading. Also, uh, now approaching on the float coming down, a flatbed, is the Reading Community Band. Reading Mass Community Band. Reading Community Band founded in 1994. The director is Lucinda Elbert. Lucinda Elbert. Reading Community Band. Have some tow trucks from Howe's Towing, a long time Wakefield business, Howe's Towing. Looks like the weather has cleared up, it looks like a blue sky coming through and we got a parade. Don't rain on my parade. Now approaching some veterans of uh, Drum Corps Associates. These are all former players uh, in Drum Corps and it's...
Primetime Brass out of Rochester, New York. Primetime Brass, Rochester, New York. Play a lot of jazz, big band, New Orleans street band. Primetime Brass, Rochester, New York. Now approaching a Wakefield favorite, Natalie Jolly. Natalie Jolly of Wakefield, Mass. Good to see her in the parade. Natalie Jolly of Wakefield and Band. Approaching from the BB Library in Wakefield, a float. Foundation of Democracy, America's Volunteers, from the BB Library in Wakefield. Always good to see the BB Library in the parade. And I see Nancy Tolson in there too. Have a float from the uh, Wakefield Masons, Wakefield Assembly Number 43, Wakefield Chapter D. Malay and Rainbow Girls.
Well, we have the Waltham American Legion with the Moody Street trolley. Waltham American Legion and the Moody Street trolley. Many of you maybe uh, remember Joseph Hill and also his wife, I believe, was Dot Hill, used to be the uh, drum major for this group. It was one of the few bands that ever played in Russia and in the Kremlin. The Waltham American Legion Band and Moody Street Trolley. Now we got an elite core, a world class group from Fort Mill, South Carolina, the Carolina Crown. 2013 world champion, the Carolina Crown. Fort Mill, South Carolina. talk about the elite corps and drum corps, you talk about the cadets, the Carolina Crown, and the Blue Devils, and they'll fight it out this summer for the World Championship this year. Most of these corps will be at a drum corps show in uh, the old Lin Manning Field in Lynn tonight. Look at those uniforms. Carolina Brown, the wall of sound. Ooh, awesome. Carolina Crown, Fort Mill, South Carolina. 2013 Drum Corps International World Champion. Wouldn't be surprised to see him champion this year, too. First place winner in the small float division. Wakefield Girl Scouts Troop 76162. Girl Scout Troop 76162. First prize in the small float division. Great job, girls. Good to see the Girl Scouts back in the parade. Another one of our units from Reading, Mass. The old Reading Battery. Now we have a couple of units from the Aleppo Shriners out of Wilmington, Mass. The Aleppo Shriners.
Now approaching from Allentown, Pennsylvania, 10 times world champion, the Cadets. Many will remember this corps as the Cadets of Bergen County and also the Garfield Cadets. The Cadets, Allentown, Pennsylvania, 10 time world champion. Famous cadets of Allentown, Pennsylvania, the best of the best.
the cadets of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Ten-time world champions, and you can see why. I think you see them in t-shirts and everything, but they've done five performances in the last 72 hours, so. And they got another show tonight, so. It's been a rainy, warm day, so. Look for them to fight it out with the Blue Devils this summer at the uh, World Championships. The Dance Studio of Wakefield, the float going by. Right now, we have one of the best bands in New England, the Spirit of America Band from Cape Cod, Mass. I believe they're out of Bourne, Massachusetts. A true band. Spirit of America.
a well-respected band, and now you know why. The Spirit of America band from Cape Cod on at Bourne, Bourne, Massachusetts. This band has performed in South Korea, Australia, Canada, and South Africa. They're considered one of the premier bands in the Northeast. Great music, great uniforms. Spirit of America, born Massachusetts on the Cape. Some emergency vehicles from the Red Cross of Massachusetts Eastern Mass. Red, American Red Cross. Now approaching from Lake City, Minnesota, the Lincoln High School Marching Band. Lake City, Minnesota, Lincoln High School Marching Tiger Band. A lot of the high schools from Minnesota come out on a tour to the east, and lately, the last few years, have been picking Wakefield because they're treated so well here. They go back to Minnesota, talk about it, and all of a sudden, the next year, we have another high school band from Minnesota or Wisconsin. Lake City High School, Lincoln High School from Lake City, Michigan. Minnesota. Marching Tiger Band under the direction of Paul Holland. Minnesota Lincoln High School Marching Tiger Band. They've been here before. They'll be staying overnight at the high school field house tonight, taking a tour of Boston tomorrow, and leaving and going to Plymouth Plantation and back to Minnesota. A lot of the kids in the uh, Lake City Band have graduated, but they like to go on the summer tour, so they stay on. They come east every other year, 
on the odd year they go to the Calgary Stampede in Canada. All right, Dan. Now, listen, I just want to thank you very much for coming down here and taking over the parade. You My pleasure. Heck My of pleasure. A job. I love the heck parade. Of a job. Like I said, this is Christmas morning to me. Christmas morning. And uh, yeah. believe me, it was a great parade. Yeah. I hope the committee makes out well in this and they keep this tradition going for many, many years. I've been doing it for years and uh, I'll continue to help out. But uh, it was a great parade and I, I wish Patrick Sullivan the best of luck in continuing this parade. And I, I hope people in Wakefield go out there and see this is a great parade. It brings, it brings national exposure to Wakefield. Keep it going. Donate. Keep my stars going on the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I think it's great. It is great. You, you, you said it all, and uh, I'm not going to repeat it, but um, the day turned out just fantastic. The sun it, is shining. It didn't it's blue come, sky. It didn't start out too well, but once we got rolling, they said, okay, time to give them a break here. So. Yeah. And really I just nice I invite the people to get on to the fireworks tonight and help out the West Side Social Club. Absolutely. They do the same as us. Yeah. They put on a great children's event and fireworks. We do the parade. Just support both. And just continue to support them. And all I can say is my Christmas morning is over and I'm happy. <laughs> all right. Great job. Thanks again, Dan. I appreciate it.